Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 15 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to check out some of the older videos in the series. And if you're liking the series, definitely like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Let me know how I'm doing. I love the feedback. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into episode 15. So we're just taking a look at the new commuter rail line that we put in towards the end of last video, episode 14. And you can see that this is just a monster commuter rail line. Let me go ahead and turn my HUD back on. Um, this is a monster rail line and it is dealing with the passengers pretty well. And there's still passengers on these stations, but you can see that they're not taking nearly as many passengers as they were in the past. Um, one thing I did notice when looking at this, and just to go in here real quick, uh, we probably overdid it with these trains, so I'm just going to edit them real quick and remove one of the sections. I think two, two sections should work. This line, however, I think also needs a pair rather than just the single. So we'll come in here and you can see uh, right when I loaded up the game, we unlocked a couple new things, the TGB being one of them, which has the top speed of 186 miles an hour. I don't know if we're going to end up using the TGV on this map. Uh, truth be told, it's a very unique train to use in a map because it takes forever for it to get up to top speed. So like this run from Northam to Sturbridge, I mean, maybe it would reach top speed, but I mean, unless you're running a route like clear across the map with no stops in between, it's really not a great train to use. Um, but that being said, you know, it's a cool thing. Maybe we'll put it in just for the fun of it. You know, maybe we'll just run a crazy line that goes across the entire map, but, but we'll see. I didn't really do much uh, off screen here uh, before the episode. I did add a couple ships onto this steel line just to get a bit more traffic onto it. Uh, because again, steel has been the limiting factor up here, so I'll probably periodically just kind of come in here and add on some more ships as we go. You can see one's leaving now, so I could I could even add another one on. Um, and then I did go ahead and add another train to the coal line here to get more coal, because coal is the limiting factor here. They're getting plenty of iron, they just haven't been getting enough coal. So we'll, we'll see how this runs. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all I did off screen today. So not, not too much. Now, one thing that I wanted to fix, and I thought I had fixed it in the last episode, but obviously I hadn't. We have steel being delivered to this airport. And the way that it's being delivered is this is producing steel, which is delivering it down here to this tools factory. But if you can see, they're also putting it on this platform to be delivered to the airport to be taken up to the machine tools factory. So we need to come in here and fix this in the same way that we fixed the other one. So this is Sturbridge Airport Tools. We only want this to move tools. We don't want it to move anything else. The steel should eventually work its way out of that system. Um, as you can see that it, you know, we're, we're pretty much, we've pretty much eliminated all of, there we go. All of the tools that it spawned up here uh, that were on this platform with machines have now gone. And now we have two separate lines running here. Um, and as these planes show up and deliver tools onto the platform, they get delivered. Now, now this is going to take machines. And this these planes will clear out this steel, but I only want them moving tools. I don't want them moving the steel. So hopefully over time, this steel will just kind of dissipate off of this platform. That's that's the hope anyway. And you can see that we actually need more steel here. So if we come down here, how is this doing? So this needs more iron, more iron for sure. So this is the Ulverston to Sturbridge iron route. I might get six more trucks on there. And we'll see how that runs. If we go down here, see, this is the problem. There's already a backup. So this just isn't producing enough iron. So we're going to have a backup of trucks. 
Um, yeah, we might just have to let that run for a little bit. One thing that we could definitely do is if we go to this tools factory, it's only got one consumer. So one of the things that I'd wanted to do was start actually delivering tools straight into here so that that bumps up the demand for tools here. So if we come in here and we want to put in a truck stop, you can see this is our tools area right in here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this street with uh, bus lanes. And then I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab just the two lane road, no bus lanes, and I'm just going to tee it in right there. And that should work. Um, I might just preemptively go ahead and upgrade that without trees. So it has the bus lanes, but it just kind of gives me the right of way in the future to upgrade it down the line without having to move a lot of buildings. And you can see our trucks are going to come in here. They're going to turn onto this road with bus lanes, and then they're going to be dropping their tools in here. So if we get a truck depot, how much of this, can I catch all of this with one? I guess that's kind of the question. So if I put one, I'm trying to see how far up I can get it. If I put one right in the center of that street, and now we make a new line, I'm actually going to come in here and configure this, and you can see that the steel has almost completely worked its way off of that platform, which is great to see. So I'm going to get a new line. It's going to start here on platform three. Uh, maybe a dark blue for now. I don't think we have a dark blue in here. And if I send it over to this truck stop, it's almost doing exactly what I want. I'm just going to go ahead and put a waypoint here so that after this stop, we're going to hit this waypoint on the way back, and that way we stay on the roads with bus lanes. So that's our route, and now we need to go ahead and get some trucks onto here. So I think I have a road depot. That's a tram depot. This is a road depot. So if we go into our cargo vehicles, and we get maybe four cargo vehicles on here, with that dark, dark blue, high maintenance, and we put them on this line that I haven't named yet. So this is going to be a truck route, Sturbridge tools. Not to be confused with Sturbridge to airport tools. And now that's got four trucks on it, and we should start to see now that this is going to start allocating tools to Sturbridge. And there it is. And now that's going to cause this to level up, which is great. So these trucks are working their way up there. These are the dark, uh, no, that's a tram. I don't know where the trucks went. They're around here somewhere. Oh, they're right here. They're probably waiting for the light to change. Interesting. I don't know. We'll come back to that. I assume it's going to change and let them through. There it is. All right. So now that that's set up, and now that we are no longer delivering steel to the airport, there is one little lot left, but it should fade itself out. That should allow this to demand more steel from up here. And you can see this is still being starved of iron. And that will in turn cause these to level up. And you can see this is the problem that I was foreseeing by adding all those vehicles on. So that's a mess. I think I'm just gonna leave it for now and just let this kind of work itself out. And then we will, we'll come back to that um, down the line. So, a couple things that we wanted to do today. Fix that, deliver tools into Sturbridge. We wanted to start looking at getting the slag that's being produced here over to this, uh, sorry, not that, this construction materials factory. And I imagine we're probably going to have to put a rail in. That's really far to do with, um, with trucks. I mean, maybe if we had the highest tier trucks, we could do that with trucks, but I think it would be easier to do with a rail line. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to delete out this road. 
now let's go into our terrain view and see what this is. So we're up on somewhat of a hill here. And you can see we actually got the modern passenger stations. Very interesting. So if we spin this around and we see where this train is, so we want to try and curve right through that gap. So if I put this station here and then come in here with our, you know, semi-industrial road, whatever you want to call it. Curve that in. I'll upgrade that. You know, maybe I'll put a road in like that just to kind of make it look a little, a little bit more interesting. So that's connected. And now we need to bring a set of tracks, just standard tracks, because it is cargo. We're going to bring a set of tracks right through here. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and put a cross in here. This really only needed one platform, but I'll do two. And now we need, we're going to need to work our way up here to this, um, this iron mill. And so if we angle it, I'm thinking that we're going to want to come to the right of this fuel and this uh, animal farm. So we'll spin this around and we'll put it in right here. We'll drop that in. Again, could have been one station. It's fine. I think it looks better with a set of stations. So let's just see if we can connect this all the way in. Right here. So that's connected. We've got an accurate crossing. We've got a pair of tunnels, which is a little odd. We've got a big tunnel. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I don't mind the accurate crossing for now. I will come back and fix it. But I am going to take this and I'm going to just lift this up a little bit so that we only get one tunnel. Hopefully. That's the goal. Anyway. So now I'll take this track and I'll bring it all the way back to this station. And we'll connect that in. And now did we just get one tunnel? We did. Nice. We'll add that track in. Now I'll add in a cross here. Push that through on this tunnel. And now we're just gonna walk this track all the way down this line. I like to build the parallel track in segments just so that I I know that it's doing what I want it to do. Like I want to make sure that it's using that same tunnel. Um, and we will fix this connection right here and that one. So we're going to come in here. We've got everything set up in terms of the track and we will just go ahead and add in the wrong signals. Those are not one-way signals. Now, interestingly enough, if I used the non-one-way signals, the line would probably figure out what I wanted it to do. Uh, I just would rather have just that more, that much more control over what it's doing. So I like to use the one-way signals. And you can see that that's signaled all the way down here. So we'll go ahead and add another. And then I'll just add these ones manually. And now we can set up a line. Like that. So this is going to be a rail line from Sturbridge to Northam. And it's going to be slag. Why don't we go ahead and make this, uh, this blue color? And at Sturbridge, 
I want it to wait for a full load for maybe 90 seconds. And now I'm going to get a depot. And you can see that that height is off. So I'm just going to level that really quick. Put in this depot. Run a parallel track down. Curve it in. Merge that in right by that signal so that we can go ahead and just reuse that signal. And then I'll put a non one way right there. And now we can just come in here and smooth this out. Just trying to smooth out all this track, make it look a little bit nicer. And then after we get this line moving, what I'm going to do is go fix those at grade crossings. So we're gonna want a train in here. We could have the no app, which goes 75 miles an hour, 200K uh, power. This one goes 87, but it's got 235 and it's a diesel. We'll probably just go with the no app for now. And we're gonna be moving slag. So we want these gondolas. And let's just max out the length right off the bat. So this doesn't need maintenance. Uh, it was this blue. We'll put that on the slag line. And now while that runs, I'm gonna come down here and fix this. We don't need this connection, so I'm just gonna delete it. And I'll delete it all the way out to this road just to clean it up. This connection we do need, so we need to figure out what we wanna do with it. This road could also probably handle being upgraded because it's being used fairly widely. So I'm just going to delete the whole thing out. We have another accurate crossing here. Deleted a segment of track by accident. And there's a vehicle in the way. So let me just get that piece of track back in. High speed track. Connect that in. And now we will delete all of this road out to there. Like that. And now we need to fix this road. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this segment of road with bus lanes and trees. And now we'll go to our tree list and we'll upgrade that. Sorry about that. So now we need to figure out where we want to connect it up here. So where are the bus lanes here? Wow, Bradley Stoke has no bus lanes. And it's fully developed down here, which means I'm gonna to have to rip this whole thing out. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, that being said, I guess I can just pick where I want the bus lanes to go. So I think I'm actually gonna use this curved road right here. So I'll get my road with trees. We'll upgrade that. And I'll upgrade it to there. And now I'll just bring this out a little ways. And now we'll switch to no bus lanes. And how are we going to get here? So I'm thinking we'll cross over here and we'll cross over here. So for this one, I'll probably do a tunnel and I'll make it as gentle as possible like that and then we'll curve it down towards where we're going and then for here I'll probably do a tunnel as well maybe like that and if we tunnel it and we'll try and make it as little of a tunnel as possible by just holding shift and using N and M. Put it to there. And now maybe if I delete this out just a little bit. Use the curve. Missed a segment. So if I use a curved road. Interesting, it wants to bridge that. I don't think that's necessary. 
And now we'll just come in here and just smooth this out, smooth this all out. And now I need to reconnect this road. So I'll take it up a little bit. I don't want to connect in right at the uh, entrance to that tunnel. And we'll connect that in like that. And now why don't we go ahead and it won't let me upgrade that because it says that there's a collision. I might break everything here, but I'm going to try and fix this. I delete all of that off, like that, and then I delete that, I'm going to put that depot back in, there, and now if we take a road out here, cross it over, can I make that a tunnel? Can? How does that look? It's actually not terrible. So we're, we'll be fine with that, and then I'll just connect that in at a T, like that. And then we'll smooth this out. Smooth all that out. So now these lines should be fixed. They are. The bus route is fixed, everything's fixed. So now I can let that run. And now if we come back down here, this train is just merging on. So we actually have one more connection to fix, and it's this one. So I'll probably pause this really quick, delete this out, and now if I take a road, I'm just interested to see if I can make this all one bridge. So if I connect that, and then just use shift M and N to try and make that as small as I can. And now if I delete that out a little bit just to make it a little bit gentler of a slope, that's not a bad slope. We'll upgrade that to there. Maybe we'll just upgrade that whole thing. Except I really don't love this curve for no reason so what we'll do is we'll just come back in here and just fix this make it look a little bit a little bit better and then we'll just smooth out this road smooth it out great so now everything's connected back up we can let this run and we should see our cargo train moving down and when he gets to about maybe about this I'll wait until he gets all the way honestly. Uh, we're going to want to get a second train on this line. So now that we are moving the slag down here, and we should see slag start to populate on this platform. We are. So now that we're moving the slag down here, we need to figure out how to deliver that slag up to Bradley Stoke, which is the nearest city that demands construction materials. And the way that I think we're going to do that is we're going to probably T in here, have them use this bridge, and then actually make a circulating road. Maybe I'll actually run a parallel road to this highway. So if I, let's see if I can do this. If I get nice and close. run right parallel to this highway. I'm interested to see how this is going to look. And then I bring this up here. Maybe bring it off like this and then tee it into this side street. Like that. I'm going to delete this out. Try and make that a smoother connection. Yep. So now that is connected. And I actually like this road running parallel to the track, especially because it's a it's an industrial, it's for industrial use. Now let's see, can I bring this through? Can. And 
And now we need to put in a station here, and this is going to need one platform. We will spin it around. Um, and I'm actually going to, I'm gonna delete this out. And we're gonna put it in like this. So if I spin it around like that, And now I configure this platform. One too many. Get rid of that. Add street access. Exiting access. And now we come in here with a road. Like that. Connect this road in. I'll even upgrade that segment. Now we need to come in here with our one-way segments. Let's see, if I tee off like that, can I force this to not bend like that? I can. Now I need to connect this in. And now if I put this in, that should work. Now the question is, if I... Yeah, I guess that... I guess that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. So now that's all connected. And now let's really quickly just add some bus lanes in here. So we know that they will exist on the tram route for sure. So if we add them along this tram route, and you can see just this game is now so densely populated that just doing this upgrading my frames I don't know if you can tell on the uh, on the recording but my frames just don't like it okay so now as I feared I'm gonna have to delete this road in order to get another road in here so is there any nope, I think I'm gonna have to delete this one as well Now, if I put a road in like that, yeah, I just, I hate the way that that looks. So I'm going to delete these out, bring this road over, tee it up like that, bring this road over it up like that and now let's go back in and fix these roads that I just obliterated so we'll, we'll connect those in and then I believe that there's a road running down like this we need to get a bus stop in here and then we need to get tram tracks on these roads and now that line should be fixed and it is great and then that will all redevelop so now the question is, where do we need to deliver construction materials? Right here, which is great. Trucks are gonna come in right here and they can deliver right here. Uh, maybe I'll have them deliver right there. So now if we set up a new truck route, we're gonna want a new line. Nope, not there, from here. Where did this train go? Is he, all, is he already on his way back? Do we see a train? Nope, he's still coming up. So if we go into this stop, so now we want to add a station, and we're going to deliver right here. And now this can be a red color. We will wait for a full load. And now this is going to be a truck stop, or a truck route, from Northam to Bradley, and it's gonna be delivering construction materials. And now we need to get some trucks on this route, and we actually have a, that is a tram depot. We can use this, that depot that I put back in that I said we didn't need. And I'll probably get maybe six trucks on this route. Um, not because it's going to have that much demand right off the bat, but just because it's such a far route. And while we're here, I'm just going to come in and upgrade 
this with that industrial road just for just for continuity and then I'll upgrade this segment with the faster road. How is this doing? I think this Northam line could probably use a couple more vehicles. So we'll add those on. And now where is this train? Okay, so he's already on the way back. So I paused it really quick because I want to get another train on there. And then I'm just going to pause this one for a sec, just until this guy gets on the actual track and can start to accelerate up to speed so that they have a nice even spacing. You can see slag being put on this platform. I think the limiting factor is now coal. Very interesting. So now we're in the other direction. So I'll probably put four trucks on there to get a bit more coal. These guys should all just turn into here to get more coal. You can see that there's tons on the platform. This leveled up, so now this is moving a ton of iron. That train is now on the line. So we can start this guy up again. And now this is delivering slag to Northam Construction, which is great. And then this is going to be delivering construction material up to uh, Bradley. Perfect. So that's set up. I'm sure it'll need tweaking in the future. But now that that is set up, uh, one of the things that I wanted to do really quick is look at our planes. So if we come in here to this line, do we have the jet planes yet? Um, we don't have the one that I'm looking for. Uh, these are not better than the Canadian Air, in my opinion. I mean, this uh, aerospace, I'm not sure if that's a Boeing. No, it's not. This aerospace goes a bit faster, uh, but it just has less capacity. Uh, the same loading speed. And then what do we have for passengers? So we have, we do have these Boeings, which have a capacity of 20. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll upgrade our passenger aircraft with the Boeings. Maybe not needed. Um, if we go into this, we swap these out with these Boeing 737-100s. And just for comparison here, we'll do the by the numbers comparison. If we come in here and we swap these out. So right now they're running these Douglas DC-4s. They go 226 miles an hour compared to 483. They carry 15 as compared to 20, and they have a two times loading speed as compared to six. So this is actually a huge upgrade for these passenger lines. And you can see our little Boeing planes here. Nice. So one thing that I wanted to do today, which I think would be really good, is I, at the end of the last episode, we actually got a pretty good ferry, the Graf Zeppelin. Um, and the reason I say pretty good, if we go into one of these depots, if we look at these passenger uh, ships, is for a while we were dealing with things like the Klondike or the Zurich. Um, not bad ships by any, by any measure. The Graf Zeppelin is really nice. The loading speed is huge, 75. Um, the capacity is 150, which is good. And then the speed is 22. So it's actually quite, um, you know, quite a, a good little mode of transportation. And there were a couple of places that I was thinking that this would be a cool thing to do. Hornsey and South Hall are both coastal. I mean, South Hall, we would need to dig it out a little bit, but South Hall also hasn't really started developing at all. Um, you know, we've got connections with our buses, uh, you know, the connections to the airport, which is great, um, but we haven't started getting either of the goods here. So, and I know we're not introducing a good, but I think by adding a little ferry that's running between here, 
I mean, think about if you live in Hornsey and you want to get to South Hall. You have to take a commuter to Haywards, switch to Wadhurst, switch to Yeoville, switch to Colchester, and then take a bus down. It's not far, but there's no road, and up until today, there was no ferry. And there's a cool place that we can add one in, and you can see the, tra the traffic, the traffic running between these cities. We might have to do just a total traffic episode next episode uh, to fix some of this, because I haven't really looked at it, but I suspect that this is the case in most of the connections between the cities. Um, but that is not what we are doing today. So today we will get a passenger harbor. And I'm going to tuck this in maybe here. And you might be wondering why I tucked it in so far. And it's because I'm actually going to come in here and dig out a little bit of space for it. So if we dig this out, I'm going to delete this road. Now if we come in here and configure it, we want a large passenger station. We'll delete this. And truthfully, I'm honestly thinking that I'm going to move it in even further. So if I come in here, just pull this in even further. I can get it onto that road. Now, before I do that, I'm going to change this road up a little bit. I'm going to delete this out. And I'm going to make it a four lane with bus lanes. And then I'm going to upgrade this all the way down here as well. And then we will upgrade. Uh, I'll probably put these in custom after the fact. So if I take this and I pull this just kind of straight across like that. And now I put in my passenger harbor. Like right about there and you can see that the terrain height is different so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this all out I'm just gonna level this off and now I'm going to put in the road and then curve this road in like that I'm going to take it off just straight a little bit. And then why don't we T in up here? So if I, if I pull this road away, bring this up. And then does it make sense for this road? Probably does, honestly. So if I get rid of this and this, just tearing this uh, tearing this city apart and now let me see so why do I like that maybe it's because this is too close so if I bring that to there connect that in I want this to work its way down to this bridge. I'm actually going to use four lane with no buses. We'll just do that for now. So now that's connected in. This will all fill out. And now we're going to need a passenger landing here. With a large landing, we'll delete this front one. Now let's come back in here with this landscaping and just level this out a little bit. Level this out, smooth that off, smooth that off. And now we have a good passenger landing here. And now we just need to figure out a, a way to circulate passengers with this bus stop. Um, 
And truthfully, I don't know what the best way to do that would be. If we come in here and we upgrade some of these roads. So if I have that with bus lanes, and then I take these bus lanes all the way up here, this road's going to have to go. And now I get rid of the bus lanes, and I upgrade this, just for traffic flow. I could have a bus circulator coming up here and changing over at this station. Like that. But maybe going in the opposite direction. So if I put a bus stop, we've already got two, we're not using one of them. So if I put a bus stop here, maybe here, uh, here, we can use that one, we'll put a stop there, and we'll put a stop maybe, maybe there. So now if we put in a new line, and let me just change the color of this really quick. I'll make it a bright pink color. We circulate around like that. So this will be the bus route of Hornsey. And this is going to be bus to ferry. And now if I have a road depot, I can go into passenger and maybe I'll get six buses on this line for the high maintenance. We'll put those on that bus to ferry route. And now I just want to be sure, before I keep going, we do have navigable waters there, which actually makes sense because we've got the steel running in there. So now let's come in here and let's figure out how we are going to make a harbor. So if I just take out a huge chunk like that, I don't need it to be this big, but again, we've got endless amounts of money right now, so I'm not really concerned about it. And we're just going to come in here and put in a passenger stop. We'll get rid of that, put in a large landing, and now let's go ahead and do our landscaping. So I will flatten all of this, pull that out that out and now let's just fill this in we'll just kind of fill that in a little bit and now I'll just clear out a nice flat area frontier for a road. So now if we want to put a road in, I might as well do street with houses. Why don't we bring this out a ways and then kind of smooth it out. And now does South Hall have a bus road? It has one, and it actually has a good set of circulating roads. So why don't I just solidify that by upgrading these? And this is where we'll put our circulator. So now if I bring this down, I actually kind of curve it in. So that will go to there. Give this bus lanes. And then maybe this will connect in here. And we'll just bring that up. And now I'm going to actually take the bus lanes off of this road. So that will be purely for traffic. And now we can go in and go in here and actually add in a stop there. There, got stops there. Actually might move that one just a little bit. Maybe a stop going back. Stop directly opposite that one. And 
And that should be good for now. So now if we add in a bus route. Running like that. And we'll make it a blue color. This will be our bus route from... So this will be the South Hall bus to ferry. And now we need to get some buses on that route. So if I get maybe five... be this color and make it that blue. Yep. So now let's get a ferry road on here. Um, and we will have them use these. So go through like that and come through like that. And now I'll honestly probably put in set of waypoints here as well so one two so after here i want you to go through here and af uh after south hall i want you to come through here like that all right and then this is going to be a i'll do f for ferry and this will be Hornsey to South Hall. And we'll make this a teal color. Kind of, it kind of blends in with the, the shipping right there. So maybe a this bluish, purplish color. Uh, we won't change any of the pickup or drop off criteria. Um, I probably, I might just try and fix this by shaving off a bit here, just to make that a little bit better. Um, I'm going to add shipping lanes, so we'll add one there, and then we'll have one coming through like that, and now if we come in here, so after Hornsey, through there and then after this waypoint go through there and now if we come in here let's see so after number two come through here and after this go through there great and now we need to get some ships on here so why don't we go down here and we will buy one of these raft zeppelins. We'll give it a high maintenance because it deals with passengers. Just what I like to do. And we'll give it this blue. We will put it on this route. We should see our graph zeppelin come, come out. So we just go to two times speed maybe. There it is. Pretty cool looking, uh, you know, ferry. I'm sure anybody who lives in a coastal city has probably seen something that looks just like this. You know, sailing around on on ferry routes that are near them. And I'll be interested to see. I've only tried ferries in this game maybe twice before. So I will be very interested to see how well this works. Like, does this person want to get off here? I guess not. Um, so one thing that, you know, we can definitely do is this currently has a 21 minute, um, time, you know, frequency. So maybe once this ferry kind of gets to the center of here, we can add another one on, um, you know, just to improve that, that frequency a little bit. And then if this starts to work, I'm sure we could, you know, find some other cities like Sutton could be incorporated into this, put a ferry stop there. They could run up and down this channel, even all the way down to Tetford. Um, because again, these cities are not all that well connected across the board. So let's go ahead and get another ship on that line and that should cut down the line okay so 10 minutes i'm thinking maybe three ships total might be a good number 
And do we have any passengers yet? We got none. None coming to the ferry. Not yet, anyway. What about over here? None coming down to the ferry. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Might just have to let that run for a while and see how it does. But that's fine. There are other things that we can work on. Um, so one thing that I wanted to look into was whether we could deliver construction materials up here to Hornsey from this from this plant right here. Um, maybe. We've got a small buildup of construction materials. You know, maybe I could add a few more trucks onto this line. Maybe like four. Um, I don't know. I mean, the problem is, is that these trucks are just not moving a ton of materials. So, at this stop, I only have them loading if they're available. So what I might do is just go ahead and add on another platform here. And now the question is, how do we connect this in to actually get them up to Hornsey? And now that I'm looking at it, I think the traffic is so bad on this road. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick fix. So if we upgrade this with bus lanes to a six lane. And there's a collision here. So if I delete that out, in here. So if I bring this across, I'm trying to see how big this needs to be. So if I bring it to about there, I think I'll probably just delete these and see what they want to do. So what do these lines want to do? They want to just kind of cross there like crazy people. I guess that's okay. And now if I delete this out, I'm going to take this six lane road. And I'm going to curve it in here. So if I bring this off straight, that in. Now if I connect that in, and then maybe just to make this a bit smoother, we'll connect it like that. We will smooth this out. Smooth all of that out. So now we've got bus lanes. I guess the only question is what would be the best way to connect this in? You know what I mean? Do I want to force them to come kind of down here? That's our that's our crossover. What I could do, what I think I'm going to do, is delete that, grab a four lane, make it straight with bus lanes. And I'm just going to connect all the way in like that. And now that will be our connection. And now this needs to be connected. And now we can let this run. So now, we want to get a stop in here. This is going to be construction materials. They're gonna come in on this road, they can take a right. If I have them drop on this side street, that hits almost all of them. Unfortunately, this is kind of the street that we wanna hit. About right here. 
guess I'll just do this side street for now. So we want a new line from here to here. That looks okay. We'll make this a dark blue. And that is not what I want them to do. I want them to go all the way down. So I want them to use... So if I do that... And also, after Market Boswell South... That. Why are you doing that? Why are you going all the way back through? Oh, it's because that's where they drop off. Got it. Okay. That's fine. I'm getting distracted. So after here, so after Market Bosworth South, go here, and then on your way back, go here. And this is going to be a truck route from Market Bosworth to Hornsey. Construction materials. And at the start, I want you to wait forever. And now I just need to find a quick road depot right here. And now let's just get a couple trucks on here, maybe, maybe three. Um, we'll get those trucks on there. And this is kind of bringing us down to the end of the episode. Uh, we're really going to need to do a traffic episode. You can see that just by increasing the capacity on this road, it helped quite a bit. Uh, but that's just not enough. Do we have any passengers on here? Okay, we got 10 and 1. It's starting to work. We've got four waiting. So it is it is starting to work. I think increasing the capacity on that line will definitely help. Um, but you can see we're starting to put some bricks on here or some construction material to be delivered, which is good. Once we can get the increased capacity uh, trucks on this route, I think that that will help a lot um, with providing enough stone to this. And you can see that this is trying to upgrade which is only going to mean that more and more stone is demanded, uh, which is just going to put even more stress on, you know, the system. But by and large, like, the traffic isn't horrible. Um, I just think a lot of these roads could do with upgrading, so maybe that's something that I'll do, you know, more off-camera. Um, but this is bringing us down to the end of this episode. We'll probably go ahead and take a, take a ride on one of these uh, new jets, one of these new Boeings, so you can kind of get a bird's eye view. There's a lot of stuff in my notes that I wanted to get done in this episode that we just didn't, and that's totally fine. Um, we ran into some things that I wasn't planning for that we wanted to work on, and uh, that's what makes it fun. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you guys are liking the content, uh, you know I would really appreciate a like, a comment, let me know how I'm doing. Um, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will try and get another video out uh, sometime this weekend. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.